Hello everyone, this is Maria. So today's tutorial is to show the different font ID. Okay, so here I list three font ID. The first is zero. World Bank ID is quite normal. Uh, so it can be generated via the software tool. And also only show the digital number English characters. Okay, this is the function. And the second is the gray font ID. Uh, still, software will to it. Uh, compared to the zero word bank ID, uh, the gray font ID looks more fluent in the shape and support different font type, font size, more flexible. And the third one is the Unicode. Unicode can support different language. Okay, so let's see it. In the welcome page, here, this is the DGAS config tool. If you want to use the zero word bank uh, ID, click here. Select font, font, shape, size, okay. And here, this is the scale, this is the shift. Shift means left side, up or down. It's, it's about the location. And the scale is for the, um, how to say, now it's five, let's say zero. So it's smaller than others, right? But if I said none, now it's neither, right? So this is the difference between the scale and the shift. Click, click create. Sixty four is the utmost, and for the zero World Bank ID, it will be stored in the software tool itself. So, it's here. Okay, zero font ID. When you want to use this font ID, you need to copy it and stick to the D1 set, okay? And the second is the gray word library. It's also the font ID. This is the DGAS index. You will use it when you write down the font size. This is X, this is Y, and here you can select the font. When you want to use this font, you can click, okay? So as you can see, you can select many, many, many for your requirement, set different font. But I think you need a table to memorize this. So for example, so four is error, 12 is category like this. And what's the, uh, what's the purpose for the index? Here, display control, data variables. So here, uh, the word bank ID is the digital number when you generate it, but the font size will be the index here. You can write four. Four means the real data the real data for the size is eight and eight, and 12 will be 18 to 24, okay? So for the gray font ID, you can directly store it in the D1 set. You can name it different. For example, I can name it 56. Now finished.
And here you should write 56 if you want to use the gray font ID. Okay. And the third one is the font generator. Font generator, uh, same same as the last two. And here, this is you can set font coding, Unicode, or others. Okay, here I select Unicode. I want to show the data preview, so I can select. Okay, now it's one. Skill, same meaning as the zero. Okay, I had explained to you. And here, this is the width and height. Actually, it's the same meaning as the x, y. So here, maybe I can see it. 32. No, 32. Okay, it's quite large. But if the data is, sh is so small, um, looks quite strange, right? So here. But it's a little left, right? I can... Adjust it. Okay. Better now. No. And vertical, mm, I think it's too long, so I want to make it more. Yes. No. Better. So I can set the font range. This is for the for the Unicode font range. I can set to this scope. Now create um, sixty one. So here we have the fifty four font generator, and also sixty one. So 54 is 1.5. You need to calculate the space. Now uh, it uh, occupies five space. So which means tier 60 belongs to this font. So this is why I name. Name the other font ID as 64. Okay, so if you want to use 64, the Unicode. Here, 64. You need to write the 64. Uh, no, sorry, 61 here. And you need to select Unicode. So X and Y should be here. Width and height, okay. So do you have a better understanding for the font ID? Bye-bye.